the CIA shoot you up with anthrax than breathe on the butcher of Baghdad. So stop. And we did get Uday and Kuse. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a different culture and all, but for Christ's sake, Uday. You know what that is? It's pig Latin for dude. Uday, it's Nan the Unker Bay. And then when we got Uday and Kuse, it took an eight-hour firefight with 140 Marines, two Bradley armored vehicles, and a Black Hawk helicopter. So they were a bit messed up when we found them. So messed up, the Iraqi people didn't believe it was them. So we brought in a team of Marines who came in, cut their hair, dyed it back to black, shaved them, and put makeup on them. I swear to God, man, Queer Eye went to Tikrit. You can't make shit up like this. And the rhetoric of the war is what drives me nuts, you know. I mean, how do you negotiate with a madman who says, your tanks will swim in a sea of eyeballs? <laughs> what? <laughs> the snouts of many blind cave weasels will notch your anal opening. <laughs> and that was Bush. Oh, come on, he's turned into President Rain Man before our very eyes. You ask him anything, Mr. President, what about Medicare reform? What about stem cell reform? What about the economy? Iraq. Yeah, definitely Iraq. Yeah. Yeah, it's all Saddam. Saddam. I'm an, ex I'm an excellent warmonger. Yeah. Shit, just ask my dad. And, sir, Mr. President, how much do you think this war is going to cost? About $100. Yeah, definitely. hundred dollars. They figure six hundred billion to rebuild Iraq over ten years. We're giving them universal health care for life. I'm with Kaiser. <laughs> I'm over to Baghdad, goddammit. I work at the Mystic Theater East. Of course, we're not going to get the Uday joke. <laughs> Big Latin, what is this Big Latin? I do not understand it. So. Are you saying the trafe is Catholic? Is that it? Is it? And how are we going to pay for the $600 billion? With a tax cut. <laughs> well, the American people want a tax cut. Well, duh. The American people also want drive through nickel beer night. The American people want to lose weight by eating ice cream. <laughs> the American people would chew off their own foot if Oprah told them there was liquid gold in their ankle veins. <laughs> the American people require a warning label on their brake fluid so they don't fucking swallow it. The American people love the Home Shopping Network because it's commercial free. <laughs> but say what you will about Bush, he has managed to reunite France and Germany. <laughs> you got the French accusing us of imperialism. South Africa threatening sanctions. <laughs> and the German justice minister called Bush's tactics Hitler-like. <laughs> Let me repeat that. <laughs> German justice minister Bush, Hitler. We just got called a Nazi by Germany. <laughs> That's not good. No, I looked that up too. That's not good. It's like having your drug intervention hosted by Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> and Daryl Strawberry's driving the van. <laughs> Whitney Houston slumped over registration. <laughs> and then, the Canadian Prime Minister's Director of Communications called Bush a moron. Now, for Christ's sake, I've heard international insults before. They're usually 
tinged with a little diplomacy, you know. We, think, we all think he's a sandwich shy of a parent. Fucking moron! <laughs> and I think it's too harsh. I do, man. I, uh, I mean, uh, I, it's not even politically correct. I think he's special. <laughs> Sir, special commander-in-chief. Apparently went to Yale on the little bus. I don't think he's stupid. I don't. I mean, how stupid can he be? He wasn't elected and he's serving as president. That's fucking smart. But, 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 I do not understand his fiscal policy. We're in the middle of a recession. And his plan is to give tax cuts to the wealthy. No, what you're doing is you're giving money to the rich. The rich don't need money. They have money. That's why they're rich. Give the poor money. They don't have any. That's why they're poor. Give the rich a hug. <laughs> well, no, you give the money to the rich, and then they spend it. It trickles down to the poor. No, they're not going to spend it. They're going to hang on to it. That's how they fucking got rich. <laughs> Besides, I'm tired of being trickled on. Oh, and speaking of commerce, I'm selling a CD after the show in the lobby, 10 bucks. You want to buy it, I'll sell it. <laughs> Master Pitchman, he. If you have a CD rack that has hold 16, it's got 15 in there, this will fit right in. <laughs> if you need a straight edge, that's nine inches. Propaganda is working. I <laughs> um, want to thank you people for coming. Um, I know everybody's trepidatious because we've never been attacked in our homeland before, but you know what? We're a pretty resilient country. We made it through eight years of Clinton, two terms of Reagan, two Bushes, a partridge and a pear tree. We're pretty strong. We are. Yeah. As long as we can keep Congress out of the mix, of course, the only thing I've done is been to rename. Washington's National Airport after Ronald Reagan. The guy who fired all the air traffic controllers at once. <laughs> gets our capital's airport named now. You can't make shit up like this. You can't. It's like renaming an Oregon donor bank after Hannibal Lecter. You can't make... Go ahead. Try. Go ahead. Michael Jackson Daycare Center. No. Mattel's Al Gore action figure set, uh-uh. The George W. Bush Mensa application, no, not even that. Stephen Hawking super secret scuba tips. Lara Flynn Boyle's Guide to Memphis Barbecue. Larry King Live. Geo Turbo. Gurneyville School of Fashion Design. <laughs> Petaluma After Hours Entertainment Guide. <laughs> Fox News. <laughs> www.amish.com. Thank you, Petaluma. Thank you, 707. Hope to see you guys again. All right, we're going to start off by telling jokes. Jokes what are the comedy show you're thinking to yourself. We're trying to a little say. bizarre. Okay, Good God. we'll see. Here we go. Joke number one. It's a test joke. Test joke. The every year. Joke. It's like it's a wonderful life. We yeah. do it every year. Every year. You learn a little something different every time you oh see it. Oh, my God, it. I didn't know that was an angel. Here we go. Why do Mike Tyson's eyes burn after sex? Is it the mace? All right. It was like a it was like an earthquake kind of. It just started <laughs> yeah. here and moved. And it was kind of like, oh, how about my high, Mo? Okay, uh, let's see. What has 18 legs, lives in the cellar, cannot catch flies? The Oakland A's. <laughs> why do you hurt? <laughs> the 707, why do you care? What not do not the, a big sports uh, town, really. What do the Oakland A's and Bill Clinton have in common? They both can't score at home. Okay. And two, three. Not a good day for Raider fans. Uh, Bill Callahan was yeah, probably have a, have a, have a. let go today. How many uh, uh, Oakland Raider fans that take the screw to light bulb? Uh, none. They're broke. Right. 
Well, every, they even fired that guy that wears the big suit to every game. It's his fault. Al Davis? <laughs> yeah, no, that's a guy with the eyeglass oh, thing. Uh, how many San Francisco 49er fans would take to screw in a light bulb? Ten! Ten. Well, one to change the light bulb and nine to whine about how much better it was when Montana changed it. Right. <laughs> he could take oh. us downfield two seconds left. There'd be no problem. That was your time football. How many people are old enough to remember when he was traded to Mervyn's? Oh, that would have said Anybody? that was. That old? It? So, muy That was a while ago, wasn't it? Man, like you know, because Steve Young ago? at least got a truck, for God's sake. How many uh, deadheads would take to screw in a light bulb? Uh, one, actually, and 80 looking for a miracle. Woo! Spinning to the left, twirling to the right. And then another 100,000 following the burnout. Yeah, okay. Good. Dude, everyone looks like Bob Weir today. Anybody see uh, Michael Jackson on 60 Minutes Anybody? Uh, this Sunday? All Big. I, yeah. Big. I, good, all I could huh? see was Ed Bradley and something. On a, you kept I trying to I, do the contrast. I, I you just couldn't get, get any color there. The it's just white. And, and then there was this outline and no Ed Bradley. Just mascara and lips. And just that is just weird. A, but very well done, you know. Yeah. Someday. It's a goal for me. A lot of, lot of big, uh, interesting things. Uh, first of all, he's never going back to Never Neverland again. Well, that's why it's called Neverland, you yeah. nit. Well, he's changing it to Not Till You're 18 Land. Hello? From what I understand. Hello, housekeeping. I've yeah. got how do you know? How do you know it's bedtime at Michael Jackson's house? The big hand's on the little hand. Right? So, I know. That's, it, that's the level right there of taste. Well, We're not I, I, she don't know where the there. line is. How can you go across? I think people are feeling sorry for him. You know, uh, on 60 Minutes, he just said that he quit the Cub Scouts. Well, it was up to six packs a day. Yeah, it's got to be tough. Sure, gotta hurt. you need a patch for that or you something. You need a patch. Oh, Gosh, sure. golly. He thought uh -huh. boys to men was a delivery service. Okay, that's the line right there. That's what we're not crossing. Right there.